I said it during on National Suicide Prevention Awareness Day on September the 10th. I said it when Dolph Ziggler fought The Miz that the winner of that match would challenge whomever the Intercontinental Champion would be at that particular time. And Dolph Ziggler won the match and gets to challenge Shelton Benjamin. Forearm shiver by Benjamin. These two veterans have done more for the Intercontinental title over the last 15 years than a lot of people have done in keeping the Intercontinental title relevant and showing why this championship is still a workhorse title. Nice snap, snap, power slam by Dolph Ziggler takes down Benjamin. Benjamin, butterfly suplex by Ziggler. These two men are also two of the best collegiate athletes ever to grace the face of WWE. In Dolph Ziggler with Kent State University and Shelton Benjamin in the University of Minnesota. Both these men have been gifted, are gifted athletes in that regard. Benjamin takes down Ziggler with a neckbreaker and Ziggler rolls to the outside. Benjamin is not wasting any time. He's wanting Ziggler to get back up. Benjamin's look like Matt Hardy, but also athletically gifted is Shelton Benjamin, clearing the ropes like it's nothing, but Ziggler saw it coming, and Ziggler dove out of the way. Benjamin still landed on his feet, but ended up getting a neck snap for his troubles, as Ziggler sends Benjamin back into the ring, and the match continues. Ziggler shoots the half, rolls over Benjamin, and Benjamin shoot, Benjamin's shoulder shoots up off the mat quick as quick, as quick can be. Jumping DDT by Benjamin takes down Ziggler. Ziggler catches the foot of Benjamin. Dragon screw leg whip. Dragon screw leg whip takes down Benjamin. Rights and lefts by Ziggler. Benjamin goes sailing over the top rope. And Ziggler is standing in the ring, defiant and ready to continue. Fireman's carry position for Ziggler. Ziggler gets dropped throat first across the top rope. Nothing pretty about that one. But can you imagine the wincing and as the air gets knocked out of your you know gets knocked out of your body and the struggle of regaining air while trying to fight off your opponent. It's an effective maneuver by Benjamin as Ziggler goes back to the neck snap. Attack in the neck of Benjamin is Dolph Ziggler in this one. Benjamin gets sent in with a hammer throw. Benjamin gets sent into the turnbuckle with a hammer throw. Into the ropes. Elbow strike takes down Benjamin. Elbow strike takes down Benjamin. Ziggler with a letter of press. And a two count. Only a two for Ziggler. Benjamin gets hit with a knife edge chop. German back... <laughs> Benjamin reverses Ziggler, just drops him down, and sends him to the outside with a lariat. He sends him to the outside with a lariat. Forearm shiver by Benjamin takes down Ziggler as these two are back on the outside. This is normal rules, which means Benjamin can get counted out and retain the championship. Ziggler, if he wants to win the gold, has to win by pinfall or submission as Ziggler fights back. Benjamin fights back, reversing Ziggler. Ziggler's up. Power slam by Benjamin. Power slam by Benjamin. Benjamin went for a rear, a rear chin lock. Ziggler reversed it with a leg trip. Ziggler introduces Benjamin to the barricade. And clangs his head off the barricade to Ziggler. Forearm shiver. These two gotta get back in the ring. Wrist clutch northern light suplex. By Benjamin takes down Ziggler. Nine. I think the referee... Eight. The referee's at a count of eight. Ziggler gets introduced to the barricade. Ziggler's got to get back into the ring. Ziggler's got to get back into the ring. Otherwise, we got to count out. Benjamin wins by count out. Benjamin wins by count out. Benjamin defeats Dolph Ziggler by count out. Benjamin. Benjamin takes the easy way out. Gets him. So gets Ziggler counted out. Benjamin gets Ziggler counted out. And retains the Intercontinental Championship.
Benjamin retains the Intercontinental Championship. And, I mean, I wasn't expecting the result of that match, but that makes this match a good match because it even caught me off guard what happened. So, well, in my opinion, Benjamin is still the champion, but that means with the result of that match, maybe we'll see Ziggler and Benjamin tangle again in the not-too-distant future. With that being said, though, that is it for me, and I will see you in the next one.